It's time, time for a, a sea change. change. Let's look at curing hepatitis C. What is hepatitis C? Hepatitis C, also called hep C, is an inflammation of the liver that's caused by infection from the hepatitis C virus. The hepatitis C virus was identified and named in 1989. Before then, it was usually called non-A, non-B hepatitis. Many thousands of Australians have hep C. Luckily, hepatitis C can be treated and cured easily. How can you get hep C? You get hep C from blood to blood contact. The blood from someone with hep C has to get into your blood. Even the smallest amount can do it. Most people get hep C by sharing injecting equipment. Other ways from getting hep C are backyard and prison tattooing or piercing, from mother to baby, if the mum had hep C when she was pregnant, unsterile vaccinations, operations or dental work done overseas, or blood transfusions in Australia before 1990. Hep C is not a sexually transmitted infection. However, men that have sex with men who do have Hep C are at risk of getting Hep C. Hep C symptoms. When someone first gets Hep C, there are often no signs of illness. Once a person has had Hep C for several years, they might have some of these symptoms. A poor appetite, a dry mouth, flu-like symptoms, feeling tired, mood swings, muscle aches, not thinking clearly, and or just generally unwell. Or they may have no symptoms at all. Even with no symptoms, Hep C can lead to very serious liver disease if left untreated. The great news is that Hep C can be cured very easily, but first someone needs to know if they have the virus. Tests for Hep C. There are two different blood tests used to see if someone has Hep C. The antibody test is a screening test which shows if a person has been exposed to Hep C at some time in their life. Antibody negative means they have never had Hep C and no more tests are needed. Antibody positive means they have been in contact with Hep C at some time in their life. They will need to get a PCR test to find out if they have Hep C now. The PCR test, also called a HCV RNA test, shows if the virus is in a person's blood or not. Only the PCR test can tell if someone has Hep C now or have naturally cleared it or have been treated and cured. PCR negative means that they do not have Hep C now and no more tests are needed. PCR positive means that they have Hep C and should get treated and cured. Hep C, cure is easy. New cures have been available since March 2016. The treatments have a 95% or higher chance of cure, even if that person has cirrhosis, have minimal side effects, in most cases take just eight or 12 weeks, are just pills taken each day, there are no injections, are very low cost with a Medicare number. Clearing Hep C reduces liver inflammation and can help reverse fibrosis and even cirrhosis. Once someone is cured, the virus is cleared from their body and it means they can't pass the virus on to someone else. The cure isn't a vaccine. It is still possible to get Hep C again, so anyone at risk should test regularly and, if needed, they can be treated again. Eliminating Hep C. Lots of people have now been cured, but many others are still living with Hep C. They might have previously shared injecting equipment and know they have Hep C, but don't know about the new cures, or they haven't had the test and do not know they have Hep C. There are lots of reasons to ask about the new cures. Staying active and healthy, feeling better, having the energy to do more, living longer, and after cure, not passing hep C on to others. For more information, speak to a doctor about treatment. The Hepatitis New South Wales website, hep.org.au, has a list of doctors in New South Wales who provide treatment. Search our local services directory for GPs near you. Or call the Hepatitis Info Line, 1800 803 990. There There's never, never been, been a better, better time, time for a sea change. change.